As I looked at BMW motorcycles, and I was only interested in a classic bike, I looked at the Slash 2s, the Slash 5s, Slash 6s, and Slash 7s. And after searching for quite a while, I came across this bike that I thought was a good mix of vintage, you know, it's a 1977, so it's 46 years old, and value. And that's why I chose this motorcycle. But there are a few things on the R75 slash 6 I prefer over the slash 7. And one of the things is the upper covers on the rear shocks. So what I did is I looked online and eBay has these covers. And the outside diameter of this cover is 70 millimeters. Now these are Icon shocks and these shocks are pretty new. They were put on in 2001 and the bike has only had about 500 miles put on it since these shocks were installed so they're like new. Now I looked on the Icon website and the outside diameter of these coils is 63 millimeters. So with that dimension and knowing that the outside dimension of this upper cover was 70 millimeters, I was pretty confident that the spring was going to fit down inside this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install these upper covers on these Icon shocks. I'm doing one shock at a time. That way I don't have to deal with supporting the weight of the bike. It makes it just a lot easier to handle with one person. So what I'll do is I'll remove these mounting bolts and pull the shock out. All right, I have the right rear shock removed and the bike is still supported by the left shock. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my spring compressor and remove the upper collar on the shock. I bought this inexpensive spring compressor on eBay. And other than this job, not sure if I'll have a use for it, but I need it for this job because there's no way I'm going to get that collar off this shock without a spring compressor. And I have a couple challenges with this in that I have to attach the spring compressor below the length of this upper cover. So I need to attach the spring compressor at this coil and this coil. Now because I need to grab this spring at such a low point, these arms here are actually too long. So what I've had to do is take this lower bracket, flip it upside down. This, this bracket's actually upside down. But having it the correct way, it would be up here, and then I wouldn't have enough length. So I think with this set up here, I have this much length to draw to pull the spring down. Oh, it's already hot. All right. Get this bumper pushed down. Now, slide my cover in place, put the collar in place, 
and relieve the tension on the spring. I want to make sure I keep that up in place. So these ratchet wrenches really come in handy for this job. Okay, so I have the decal here on the inside, I have the writing on the inside, I have the split in the collar on the inside, and I have the adjuster on the outside. So I believe this shock is ready to install. And I have modification number one finished. I have the Slash six upper shock covers installed. And you know, it's all a matter of taste on what a person likes. They like them or they don't. Personally, I like the styling of the slash six a little bit more than the slash seven. So I'm going to be adding some slash six elements to my bike. But I got the covers installed on the rear shocks. And that is the first modification I'm doing to the bike. And as you see, I also have them installed on the left side. Thank you for watching. And I hope you come back and check out the next one.